So Peter, Philippa, thanks for talking to TV3 today. How are you both feeling a day out from the big premiere? Uh, I'm feeling happy we got the film finished, which <laughs> we just kind of got it finished this morning. Final tweaks. Yeah, yeah, we did. We've been doing final tweaks on the soundtrack. We just had a run of the movie at the embassy this morning to make sure it was all working okay. It must be hard to finally let go. Yeah, it, you don't really let it go. Somebody comes and drags it out of your hands, <laughs> and you actually try to clutch onto it as long as you can, because I, I you know, I think that there's nothing that's ever perfect, and the longer that you spend, you know, on a a, a, a film, the better you can make it. So we kind of fiddle and we, we, we like to think we're improving it right up until the, the very last minute and um, then, then somebody takes it away from us. You're, like it or not, probably our biggest movie star. Can you still be a regular old Kiwi and pop off down to the dairy and pick up some Jaffas or is that all gone for you now? Uh, no, I, I, if, it's, if it's just a, um, a trip to the local dairy I, I'm absolutely fine. And, uh, but it's where, if, if I go and to Wellington and to the city to go shopping or go to the movies. I, it, it's, it's, absolutely, it's fine, but I know I'm going to be posing for, for photos with cell phones that never, never kind of work the first time. And, right. and have to kind of, you know, I, I, kind of, I know that's going to happen and, and, and signing autographs, and that's fine. I mean, I just have to kind of prepare myself for it. And, and, and if I go in there hoping it's not going to happen, then I'm only, it's, it's pointless because it always does. Philippa, I wanted to ask you, why must there be three films? Is it being a tad indulgent or is it just something that you felt that needed to happen? No, we, we, we didn't go into this process expecting that we were going to we, we make three films. We truly didn't. It, it, it became something, it was a decision that needed to be made, really. When we, when we got to a point and we felt that it was working um, and that the, the story could hold this and that there were certain parts of this tale that can only really be told within the context of The Hobbit um, that we wouldn't get to tell. And we had to make that yeah. choice. And, and we also knew it was the, this was the time to do it. Yeah. I mean, this is we're probably never going to be making an, another Tolkien film again. I mean, I ne should never say never, but I, I, I would be pretty surprised if we did. And, and we knew that unless we put our hands up, spoke to the studio and, and asked to do a bit more shooting next year so we can shoot some of the, this extra material, it'll probably never happen. So. Uh, on, on that, uh, Sir Peter, you're probably going to be remembered for your work with Tolkien. Where do you go from there? Well, I, I've, I've only ever wanted to make movies that I like making that I'm interested in. So uh, I, anything I make is really just something that's a film that I want to see. I mean, that's every film I've made has been a movie I, I, that I want to see. It's very really selfish, really, to some degree. So I, it's um, I have no idea what we're going to be, what films we're going to be making in the future, but. Um, well, just it'll be what they'll be, but hopefully they'll be enjoyable. Do you think that people are suffering a little bit from Hobbit fatigue? There's been a bit of bad press lately. I wonder no. whether there's not so much support for The Hobbit as there was for Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's hard to say. I mean, I think what the problem is at the moment is that ultimately it's a movie, and, and, and what we're doing is making a film and all that we want. The only thing we want is people to be able to, you know, enjoy the film, go and see it and have fun at the movies and, 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 and I think the problem is that there's such a build up to it but you know the film isn't out yet I mean everybody and I feel sorry for mm. people they're getting whacked around their head with The Hobbit um, and they can't actually go and watch the movie so at the moment it's about the hype and it's not about the actual film itself. So I'll be relieved when you know December the 12th rolls round and, and, and it can just be about the movie because that's ultimately what we've made as a film. We haven't made all this hype. Mm. Martin Freeman, do you think you might have an Oscar nod coming his way? Or any of the other actors for that matter? I think he's the perfect Bilbo Baggins. Particularly was really pleased to see working, for me anyway, was um, mm. Surian Holm, who was the original Bilbo Baggins, mm -hmm. handing that role over to mm. The younger Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, I mean Martin's Martin is a dream uh, for a director because what what Martin does, which I was totally fascinated with always, is that is that he would, you know, we shoot maybe seven, eight, nine nine takes, and every one of them would be completely different. Uh, I mean, which which is for me, it's a joy because I get in in the cutting room to to, to edit the movie where I look at all the takes and I make my choices about which ones to use, and and, and he's always experimenting, going in different directions, just just go and, and and but they're all authentic they all feel very real and truthful but it gives me such a wide range of, of choices and, and he's rare a lot of actors just try to achieve something that they have in their mind and they're, and they're heading towards a singular goal Martin just goes out in all directions experimenting all the time and, and it's it's a fascinating process to watch and it's a joy and a long way from Tim in the office <laughs> yep, yeah that's right yeah